Hey, oh, oh wait. Hang on, I need better lighting. Is that better? Yeah. You're watching the Joe Sonas Song by Song review of Night Visions by Imagine Dragons. Whatever. Fun fact, the lead singer for Imagine Dragons, Dan Reynolds, grew up in Las Vegas, where I live, and he's Mormon, like me. Just so you know, I can drink soda and eat chips and be barefoot in the shower. Yeah, some guy asked me, are you supposed to wear socks in the shower? And I'm like, mm, no. Anyway, since Dan Reynolds grew up here, he gave a talk to my seminary class. If any of you out there don't know what seminary is, it's like church and school. That's right, this guy met the lead singer for Imagine Dragons. I know. No big deal. But enough about that, on to the review. So unless you've been living under a rock on Mars for the past year, you've definitely heard the first song on this record. Radioactive is a super huge mega hit, and Imagine Dragons basically owes all their success to that one song. It was like number one on the charts for like, ever. But as any of you who watched my last video of Lord's Pure Heroine know, that popularity is not always a good measure of quality. This one, again, is not the best song on the album. It, as well as a lot of other songs on their album, sports a nice mixture between synth and alternative rock. And also, like many other songs on their album, it has great metaphorical lyrics. What I didn't like about it, though, is that it played the same three chords over and over again. I like a little, at least a little variation in the chord progression. The second song on the album is called Tiptoe. It kind of has an odd title, but it's one of the better songs on the album. I do like the intro to the song, like... And the synth sounds, actually, they picked really well because it sounds a lot like tiptoe to me. Kind of staccato. Despite the incredibly intense intro, it's one of the more playful, light songs of the album. And it was about falling in love in secret. Number three is called It's Time. I have a lot of good things to say about this track. It has a cute beat and cute music, yet it has very intense, meaningful lyrics. I like the syncopation in the chorus, and my favorite quote was... This one was about being true to yourself and sticking to your guns no matter what. Next is one of the more popular ones called Demons, and you probably heard this one on the radio too. This is definitely my favorite song on the album. And despite the very meaningful and metaphorical lyrics, I can definitely tell that it's about how everyone has a dark side, otherwise known as demons. I thought it had odd, muffled, fuzzy percussion, and it's one of the more shorter songs, but it's still an amazing song. Next one, called On Top of the World, it's one of the feel-good, optimistic songs. A drastic change in mood from the last one. I love the music video for this one. It features the members of the band going to stage the moon landing. Pretty cool. This one is about achieving your dreams, and it's cute and shallow, yet inspirational, which is really hard to pull off. The next one is called Amsterdam, and it's one of the more obscure songs on the album. If you don't have the album, you've probably never heard the song before. I like the reverbed guitar in the intro. See? It's about how your dreams may not come true right away, but if you wait and stick to them, they will. The next one, called Hear Me, has a catchy beat and it's very passionate and meaningful. This one was a very rock-influenced song, and there's a lot of variation in it, which I like. This one was very hard to interpret, but what I came up with was it's about how his lover traps him and is too possessive. Number eight, called Every Night, is shallow and poppy, but it's still really good. I like the guitar solo on the bridge of this one. <laughs>
It's about how he will always stay faithful to his lover. The next one, which I think is one of the best songs on the album, is called Bleeding Out. For my favorite song, I was kind of torn between this one and Demons. It's very epic and intense, and it's about hopelessness and pulling through hard times. It has a very interesting synth lead in the bridge, and it's not the best outro in the world, but it's still really great. I don't even remember what number this one is. The next one is called Underdog, and this one was adorable and energetic. It was very playful and energetic. It was very playful and energetic, and it had these cute synth melodies. This one was hard to interpret too, but what I got out of it is that it's about settling down after the glory days. It had catchy vocal parts layered on top of each other towards the end that I liked. The next one, it's odd. It's called Nothing Left to Say Slash Rocks. It's two songs in one nine minute long track, and I'm not sure why they put them together. But anyway, Nothing Left to Say is about teen angst and coming of age. Like one of the lyrics is, my age has never made me wise. I like the cello in the outro, at least I assume it's a cello, but the outro does drag on a lot. And it's another deep and thoughtful track. The next one called Rocks. This one is almost a polar opposite of the one it shares a track with. And it tells the story of a guy throwing rocks on a girl's window to get her attention. Very playful and energetic and short, but I do think they should have separated it into two tracks. Number 11. Working Man. This one is a very catchy beat and synth track, and it's about the daily grind and taking life one day at a time. And like most other songs on this album, I do like the vocal accompaniment in the chorus. The one complaint I have with this song is that the chorus repeats a bit too much without variation. And lastly, but definitely not least, number 13, Fallen. I loved this one, and it was one of the first tracks I listened to when I got the album. I do like the drum track, but the bridge is a lot like the ones on the other songs in the album. Just one lead vocal line and another simple vocal accompaniment. It's about how if we fail, we fail together. It's a great finisher for the album. I would rate this album... 9 out of 10. My favorite song was Demons, and my least favorite song was Amsterdam. Altogether, the album was done very well, and although all of the songs sound very similar, they all express a unique idea. Leave a comment about what you thought of the album, and what album I should review next. Until next time. It as well as... It as well as... It as well as... It as well as... It as well as a lot of other songs on... It as well as it, it as well as a lot of other songs on their album is like